you know, one of the challenges that, that we're looking at, uh, you know, if you take uh, some of the statistics about youth with disabilities, uh, you know, they're, they're basically uh, not as active, uh, they're, they're two times as, as likely to be inactive as their peers without disabilities, and uh, they're 40% higher rates of obesity. Uh, and of course, this leads to a whole range of, of health issues. And one of the challenges is to convince young people and uh, adults with disabilities that they should not use their, uh, their disabilities as an excuse to be inactive. Uh, because uh, it is not. There are so many now, so many opportunities available in, uh, for, you know, we're teaching 40 different sports now to people with disabilities. And because of the adaptive equipment and because of the trained instructors, these opportunities now are very widespread and, and, and you can be active with your disability. And it's extremely important not to use that disability as an excuse to sit back and sit on the couch and not do anything uh, because you will pay for it in ill health uh, the rest of your lives. And if you get active, I can guarantee you, you're gonna lead a healthier and a happier life uh, through that you know, activity. So um, that's really the message that we wanna get out there, that uh, you know, if, if you know, three, three amputees can climb Kilimanjaro, certainly you can get out there and, and uh, you know, do, a, do a hike around the block or go skiing or go biking uh, and, uh, and stay active. And the key is to stay active on a regular basis. That really is what's going to lead to a healthier lifestyle. I think it's completely uh, a mistake to discount physical activity. Go look at technology today. And I'll tell you that if you don't stay active, even if you work in technology or you, you know, use technology on a daily basis, um, you know, you're still going to end up having you know, to think about your posture, uh, to think about things like you know just your own physical well-being and if you are working in technology, it's that much more important to stay active so that you know that downtime that you have is counteracted with some type of physical activity. You don't become dependent on really just using technology as a game. Uh, Jameson, I think you're absolutely right. I mean, we with technology, we tend to you know have to, you know I have a desk job just like you. You know, even though I'm an active person. And um, and we do have to remember that when you add a you know you're inactive for a big part of the day, that it's important to spend some of the day uh, in activity so that your body can re, you know recuperate and and you can uh, actually continue to to, to to maintain a healthy uh, uh, lifestyle. And so it's even more important now that with some of our sedentary jobs that we get out and be active. I, I'll tell you the biggest way for me to clear my head is to get on a bike and just go out there and ride for a couple of hours. Uh, it is just like, you know, nirvana to me. And um, and it really makes me a, a better person at work uh, and, a, and a more adjusted person at work because I've been able to do that. So uh, we, we can't forget that. 